Yo, what's up guys? It is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be going over a converter software from the people over at VideoProc. I previously did a collab with them with their video editing software. The software itself was insane, came in at a price point of $0. So I'm going to be reviewing their converter software and hoping that it maintains VideoProc's reputation as one of the best budget software companies out there. So if you guys do enjoy it, make sure to go check out the software download. It'll be in the description. First link as well as the pinned comment. Thank you to the people over over at video proc for actually reaching out to me to review this software for you guys and uh, yeah hope you guys do enjoy like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so i'm actually in the application itself the video proc converter and i'm just gonna be highlighting all of its features so for example um the video feature what you can do is just like any other converter obviously the definition of a converter is it will take a file as an input and then you can select the output format that you want it to be and this is useful if you want to let's say turn a video into an audio file or you want to turn an audio file into a different type of audio file to make it compatible with a specific device or something like that i know iphones uh, have different compatibility rules for the audio files there so i've done uh, my own work where i've converted audio files to a uh, supported format that I can then upload to my phone back when you know you had to purchase songs on iPhones so that's just an example but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this feature in uh, usage right here so I'm gonna upload a video file right here and then what we can do is we can set the destination format that we would like so for example we can go mp4 in terms of if we want to like convert it this one already is a h264 i believe yeah right here h264 file right here and if we want to convert it to an mp4 set that as the destination we can or we can set it to any of these uh mov or a uh, m4v something like that these are just different formats right here and then we can also go to device and then it will show the formats for different um, devices. So PS5, Xbox, iPad, Android, iPhone. And then here's the audio ones right here, MP3, M4A, Wave. And then we could add all these effects to like a uh, D shake or a D noise, as well as merging multiple clips, which can be very useful for TikTok and Instagram. I highly suggest using this feature right here as well as trimming, splitting, rotating, mirror flipping, uh, turning something into a GIF or GIF, as a lot of people will debate in the comments. And um, yeah, those are pretty much just the cool features itself. Uh, the trim as well as a split. I like the merge. The merge is a really cool feature as it allows you for to combine multiple without an editing software itself. So that's really cool. But for example, I am going to pick, um, let's just say an MP3 file. And then all we gotta do is we just change the output right here, turn on hardware acceleration, turn on the high quality engine, and we'll just go run. And it will show the progress right here. It will show that it is using our CPU instead of um, our NVIDIA graphics card or something like that. So what it's doing is it'll run. I really don't want to have this file on my computer because it will just take up extra storage. But yeah, that's pretty much just the basic converter feature itself. Super easy to use and I love this software. It's my number one converter software that I'll use. There's a DVD thing right here. I don't know who would use a DVD. I don't know who still uses DVDs in 2022, but that's there if you'd like to use it. And then the last feature of the software is the recorder feature. I highlighted this in one of my videos where you can highlight either screen, whatever side you want. Um, to record you can set your um, desktop audio your microphone input um, there's different features such as the green screen feature webcam features screen and webcam and it's just great so for example I can go between this is my recording monitor right here and then this is my main monitor just like this but um, yeah, that's pretty much the software itself. You just press record, you can set different settings, but that is actually the video proc converter in a single video, kind of showcasing all its features and highlighting them for you guys to actually utilize for your own use. Make sure to drop a like, check out the software, first link in the description, as well as the pinned comment. Much love to the people over at video proc for actually sending me an opportunity to actually review this for you guys once again and i love this company they're putting out consistent budget softwares for you guys to actually use when it comes to your workflow and all that but make sure to like comment subscribe if you guys enjoy i highly enjoyed reviewing the software for you guys make sure to go check it out in the description i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in a future video peace out